hello friend welcome back in this tutorial i will be talking about page load timer what it is how to use it how to make the best use of its all the latest features like blacklisting any website whitelisting web website how you can get the average load time or if you want to remove the duplicates from the reports so let's get into this uh, plugin with the detailed tutorial it's a very short and uh, crisp one very useful so here on selectorsub.com at the home page you will find the page load timer if you click on this it will open the home page of page load timer where you will find all the details about this particular plugin and it's very simple and pretty much available for all the browsers so uh, what is page load timer it basically gives you the load time of your web page without you doing anything basically effortlessly you just have to install it on your browser and as you can see in this gif automatically whenever you will open any web page it will show you the load time how you can use it how you can install it let's see this very simple if you want to add it on chrome you just click on this it will open the chrome store or if you want to add on any other browser you click on this it will show you all the links for different different uh, store browser store so let's say we want for chrome so here we'll open the chrome store and you have to just click on add to chrome you click on add to chrome it will show add extension install it already it's a five star plugin highly safe and secure available for all the browsers you can check out the re reviews and rating and very very useful tool here it will open the install successfully installed page where you can read about more about this and you will fi find a tutorial and everything uh, faqs like if you have anything so that you details you will find on this page here after installation it will show you something uh, the pop-up like this you can close this and by default you will not be able to see the uh, page load timer logo here on the top in the browsers nowadays so what basically they will ask you if you want to pin that particular plugin to the toolbar so because you want to see the load time every time so you would like to pin that so click on this and here you can pin it to toolbar click and now it is showing here so you can see that automatically like by default for this page it is showing 1.97 which is basically the load time so now going forward whenever you will open like let's say if you open any page website flipkart.com so you here you can see 1.12 basically 1.12 second this page has taken to load if you click on this it will show you all the details here like redirect dns connect request response dom whichever particular uh, thing has how much time it has taken these timings like it is written here load timings in milliseconds so all those details are showing it here this is the page load timer link here are the like more important links like if you want to view the report like let's say you have open 100 page or 10 page or 15 page whatever page you have open lastly that report it will show so it used to show report for last open 100 pages so if you click on this report it will show you the report so currently we have opened two page this installed one and the flipkart.com so two pages are showing here the load time and like this now if you open any other page like let's say selectorsub.com then google.com any page you keep on opening and it, it will be keep on showing you the load time here like this and if you will again like let's say click here and click on view report it will show all the pages here okay so it's very simple straightforward now let us explore more features of uh, page load timer so if you click on this here so here it's showing the view report now suppose let's say we again open amazon.in or suppose we refresh this page so you see that sometimes it is showing 1.13 last time it has taken 2.04 so what it will show in the report right now it will show 1.13 by default if you click on this it is showing 1.13 the latest report it is not showing the last load time right though last time it has taken this much time so how can we get get all the load time in the report and then average of them so for that you have to do a small setting here click on this logo page load timer logo then there is a setting option click on this and here you see on the top keep duplicate url values in report so now you turn on this now going forward whenever you will load the page like let's say if i refresh this page again so now it has taken 1.10 second okay and last in the report what was there 1.13 if we will refresh this report or let's say if we open this report again anything is fine 
so you can see that both the report time 1.13 is still there and now you can see 1.10 also came and average of both is here if again you open amazon.in let's say so this time it has taken 2.53 now let's say we open this so here you can see 2.53 1.10 1 1.13 and average here so this is how you can get the duplicate values as well with all the load times and then average of them this is how you can see this here now next feature what it has amazing feature which is like let's say you want to uh, you are working in a company like I'm working at selectorserve.com so I just always want to show the load time or work this extension on only on this website if I open Facebook Instagram or YouTube anything I don't want to get those URL in the report or don't want to uh, like basically don't want to see those load time or I don't want to run this particular extension on those website I just want it for my website so I can blacklist and whitelist as well both the things we can do suppose we want to just uh, get the load time of all the web pages of selectorsub.com so what we can do copy this click on extend uh, logo here page type, page load timer logo click on settings here and here you have whitelist paste your URL that's all now click on this close this if you open going forward any selectorsub.com page it will show the load time like this okay now if you open any other website like let's say we open mintra.com now you see that it is not running here if you open any any website it will not be running there so this is amazing feature now if we like let's say if you open this by default it will show you like uh, blacklist and whitelist so if there is any website in whitelist even if like there could be more as well more than one so if your website like let's say you will be confusing you will be like surprised why this is not working here that means you have whitelisted some of the website in which this is not there or you might have bl blocked this website i will also show you that uh, you can also blacklist some of the web application that also there so here it is showing the setting thing here if you remove this then it will work on this website as well now you see that it is coming here okay in the report also you will get the report also accordingly so again let me show that this is working for selectorsub.com only we will have it here now this will not work for this for a second we will clear the report like let's say you can clear the data because right now it is having all these details so you can clear this data okay now there is nothing in the report okay and we have whitelisted this so if we will open selectorsub.com only that those web pages will be coming here like you open any pages that data will be coming so we have opened three pages selectorsub.com courses then practice page let's say we open one more page check my links okay now four pages we have opened if we will check the report it should show only four sorry three selectorsub.com xpath practice page check my links three pages it is showing now if we go to like let's say mintra.com and now if we will uh, again open selectorshub.com uh, any page like let's say this practice page and again if we go to any other page like let's say certification page here and you open the report it should have only selectorshub.com pages not the mintra.com so this way you will be having only your web application urls in the report and also like if by mistake any url which you don't want even from your application you don't want to mention in this report that you can simply delete like this okay good also there is sorting feature here like if you just click on this like let's say you want to have those pages which are taking the most time you can just click on this and it will sort that like now we have it on top by default it will be uh, sorting all the like rows based on the timestamp whichever you have open latest next one like let's say you want to mention multiple URL here like you want to whitelist multiple websites so what you have to do you just click on the press enter then copy URL settings here enter and you can mention like this close it now it will be like uh, okay selectorsub.com was by default already there you just open mintra.com and you can see it here now so now it will be working for mintra as well if you open report it will be having selectorsub.com and mintra.com if you open any other website 
it will not be working there it will be blacklisting those because we have white tested only two website now if you want to work uh, like if you want to uh, blacklist some of the website and you want to make it work for every website so in that case you just click on this delete only the uh, like delete whitelist or if you want to keep it whitelist that's okay let's say we want to white uh, blacklist this one and we want to work for every other website so now it will not work for uh, flipkart.com but it will be working for all other website like google.com it is working flipkart uh, selectorsub.com it is working but it should not work for flipkart.com so you can see that it's not working if you click here you click on view report it will be showing that data so this is how you can blacklist and whitelist here we have the clear data you have the option like if you want to clear or uh, all the data from the report then you just click on it it will clear the data if you want to download the data you can download the data earlier there was an issue like long urls were not coming properly in the report now if you download and see the report there will be like all the urls complete urls you will be able to see in the report as well like this uh, okay so for an example okay right now there is no no long url so let me just show you some of the website where it will be having the long url for a second we will remove this so now it will be working here so this is going to have a long url and all okay so we have the report here so you can see that some of the urls like dot 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 okay let me add few more so that it will be good so basically whichever will be having the long url in that case it will not be uh, it will be in the report it will be showing like this dot 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 here here you can like copy url you can view so then that way it will you will be able to see but earlier if you download these reports from here like this so in that in the report you were not able to see the like complete url so few of the users has reported that issue so we have fixed them now you can see that you are able to see the complete url like what was the url so that is also fixed here so yeah these are all the features of page load timer i'm sure like you guys are enjoying this and loving it this tool is really amazing it is going to save a huge amount of time and very helpful tool to uh, like quickly measure or like get the web page load time of your web application of any web page effortlessly you just keep it on your website uh, on your browser sorry and you it will be giving you the load time very handy very helpful and always like whenever like let's say for your entire web application the threshold load time of your website is one second or two second and if you have it uh, in your browser whenever that is going to be like let's say more than two second three second your threshold load time you can easily and immediately report the issue that see our web page or this particular web page is taking more time so this is going to be very very helpful for you because generally we doesn't always do the testing or load testing or page load time testing so this is very very handy and very helpful just like without you doing anything you are getting the report i hope you guys are enjoying this particular tool if you haven't installed haven't shared with your team then please do that please install it and do share it with your team and other members already you can see that more than uh, 3000 testers are already using five star rating it is absolutely safe and secure we don't save any data we don't sell any data so all thing and it is highly safe and secure it runs offline in your system and you can check out and read the review about this particular plugin and this is really amazing thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you